the life of magician David Blaine will literally hang in the balance of his latest stunt. For the next 60 hours, Mr. Blaine will hang upside down suspended in Central Park. Can the daring Blaine survive his latest impossible stunt? Here's a look at the story. Magician David Blaine unveiled his latest stunt at Walman's Rink in Central Park. This time, the daredevil will hang upside down, suspended 44 feet in the air for 60 hours. The challenge ends with a terrifying plunge. Blaine, who has made a name for himself by pushing the limits of what humans can endure, will abstain from eating and sleeping for the duration of the challenge, but will drink fluids. He will also be able to zip around freely while upside down to talk to those who want to visit him. Two hours after being hoisted upside down, Blaine was already looking uncomfortable. He could be seen stretching his legs and pulling himself horizontal about every five minutes. Yeah, I, I thought it was going to be pretty bad, but it's probably worse than I, <laughs> than I anticipated. This isn't Blaine's first attempt at the impossible. Blaine's past challenges include holding his breath underwater for more than 17 minutes, fasting for 44 days while suspended in a glass box over the Thames in London, and surviving in a block of ice for more than 60 hours. Blaine says that with each challenge, he takes things minute by minute, not contemplating the remaining time he must spend in discomfort. This challenge, however, is proving to be more difficult than anticipated. Yeah, I think the hardest part of this is going to be sleep deprivation plus keeping blood flow. And well, I guess the good news is whenever I have to... Oh. I guess the other factor we didn't consider is the uh, heat from the sun. That'll need to be considered. Blaine's doctor, Ronald Rudin, who has advised him on all of his challenges, said he was particularly concerned about blood clots and blindness. We get into real trouble because if he throws a clot or if he breaks the blood vessel in his brain, there's nothing stopping it. So we are, we are, we just have to hope it doesn't happen. Because if it happens, it's going to literally be a, really a tragedy for David. I don't know how he does it. <laughs> He must have the biggest headache, I would think, but uh, it's pretty amazing. He's an amazing person. A crowd of fans and onlookers continue to gather at the rink, amazed at his latest stunt, which will end on Wednesday night.